Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Isaac. And I'm Bronwyn. And we'd like to welcome all of our visiting St. Mary's applicants who are shadowing this morning. We were thinking about you last Thursday during interview night. Hope you have a great visit today. And in Student Life News, in continuing this month's focus on Black History Month, Inclusive Community has sent us another short spotlight video. Happy Black History Month, Panthers. I'm Alex from Inclusive Community, and today I'm highlighting Lil Bobby Hutton. Lil Bobby was born Robert James Hutton on April 21st, 1950 in Virginia and moved to Oakland at the age of three after his family was intimidated by Knight Riders to move. After meeting Huey Noonan and Bobby Seale, he became the very first member and treasurer of the Black Panther Party in, at the age of 16. In 1967, he was among a group of Black Panther members who traveled to the state capitol to protest against the Mulford Act where he was arrested. On April 6 of 1968, a group from the Black Panthers led by Eldridge Cleaver held a confrontation with the Oakland Police Department surrounding the death of Martin Luther King Jr., who had been killed just two days prior. In that altercation, after being tear gassed, Hutton was forced to strip down to his underwear to prove that he was unarmed. Even after this, he was shot at least 12 times and died at the scene in West Oakland, just two weeks shy of his 18th birthday. Though his death was traumatizing, it incentivized the Black Panther Party to continue their mission of the 10-point program. He is now commemorated in West Oakland by the Firmary Park, which is known as Lil Bobby Hutton Park. Thank you for listening, and back to announcements. If you bring in a coat or socks by Thursday lunchtime, you can have double raffle tickets and a cupcake. See Ms. McCormick and the service folks for more details. Remember, bins are located in the main office, the library, and the Shea Center. Do what's right, Panthers. Warm up the winter for the less fortunate by donating soon. And now here's Tiger with your Panther Athletics. S spring sports officially begin today. Check with your coach about practice time and location, as well as weather conditions for outdoor sports. The basketball regular season ended, ended Friday night in a triple header at Pinole. The boys' JV team started things off with a solid 68-53 win over the Spartans. It was the girls' varsity team that has a close battle, eventually losing by three. Finally, with a career high of 31 points, Jonathan Fernandez led the Panthers' effort in a 65-61 win. There are no games today, and we will have TCAL soccer playoff details on tomorrow's show. That's it. Back to Isaac and Bronwyn with today's birthdays. Thanks, Tiger. And there are actually no birthdays today, but here's what's cooking today over in the Shea Cafe. Global Bull's teriyaki chicken and coconut rice leads today's menu, with the Market Grill offering some bacon-wrapped grilled hot dogs or grilled er, cheeseburgers with fries. And that's it for today. Have a great day, St. Mary's.